Now this is only a slight possibility, but it may happen as Carowinds, and I would really like to go here for Fury 325 mainly, and it'd be really cool because maybe we could do something like if we're going on a Florida trip, then we could stop in North Carolina to go on Fury 325 and the rest of the attractions at Carowinds such as Copperhead Strike, Intimidator, etc. So it would be really nice to go to this park, but it's just a slight chance we may go. But it would be really nice to go to this park. Next up for possible stop is Kentucky Kingdom. This park is about five hours away from where I live, so there's a good chance we may go there for Storm Chaser, Lightning Run, all the great attractions that they have there. It would be really awesome to go here, and I would be so pumped for Storm Chaser and Lightning Run. Those rides look amazing. And there's only a few out there that are like Lightning Run, and I've heard great things about it. So I've been watching a lot of POVs of rides at this park, and this park looks really nice, it looks charming, and I would really like to go here someday, and hopefully we may go this summer. Next up, I am pretty sure we are going here is Kennywood sometime soon, mainly for Steel Curtain and Phantom's Revenge. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for this park. It just looks really, really good, and I just can't wait to go here eventually this summer, hopefully. It's not guaranteed, but I, there is a chance of us going, and I would really like to go to this park. It looks charming, it looks like they have a great selection of rides, and it's not too far from my house, it's just in Pittsburgh. And next up on our possible trips is Kings Island. And I really hope we go to this park. It looks like they have a great selection of roller coasters, and it looks like a very good park overall. And I just really hope we could go to this park. And it's also fairly close to Cedar Point, so that's pretty good too. And what we'd be doing on the same trip, along with Kings, Kings Island, is Cedar Point. Of course, this place is the happiest place on earth for me. Man, I went here last year and this park was amazing. All the roller coasters were pretty much um, just all the roller coasters were great with the exception of a few that were okay and they were older roller coasters that weren't that good. But this park is just so good. I wish I could I wish this was my home park and oh my gosh, I just can't wait to go back to this park. And Lake Compounds, the main reason we are going here is for Boulder Dash. And another trip will be Knobles. I've been here many times throughout my childhood, basically every year. And it will be just another visit to Knobles. And I really do like this park, mainly for Twister and Phoenix. And Overall, it's a really nice park, and the food is great, so I can't wait to go back here. And of course, we'll be visiting Six Flags Great Adventure many other times this summer. And, you know, it's my home park, so of course, we'll be here many, many other times. This is definitely one of my most anticipated parks, which is King's Dominion. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for Intimidator 305, Twisted Timbers, Dominator, and more. This park just looks so effing good, and I am so excited to go here. In Dorney Park and Wild Water Kingdom, I have been here many, many times throughout my lifetime, and I really hope to get back there this summer. I'm pretty sure we will for sure, and we're gonna do a day where we do the water park for half the day and the amusement park half the day. And I'm really excited to get back on Talon, Steel Force, Hydra, etc. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell as I do post daily. And make sure to check out other videos I have uploaded, such as my top 5 roller coasters at Six Flags New England, and my top 5 roller coasters at Six Flags Great Adventure. So, until next time, Coast Runners, out.